this was really interesting. I thought you sent me this yesterday, Zach. Uh, pretty typical Kyle Kalinsky tweet about January 6th responding to another account. Um, but then Mr. David Dole weighed in. And it looks like the original tweet has actually been deleted, the one which Kyle responded to in the first place. But luckily, I took a screenshot last night fearing that that would happen. So while I pull that up, Zach, do you want to uh, just give a little bit of introduction to this and how you came across it? Yeah, look, so last night, uh, obviously going through Twitter, everybody is just melting down with hysteria on all different sides about January 6th. Either you're pissed off that it's getting way too much coverage and hysteria and the actual suffering of the American people uh, going unnoticed and it's just, you know, liberals jerking themselves off, hanging out with Dick Cheney and all these kinds of fuckers. Uh, obviously, that was my reading of the situation and, you know, there was a chorus of people like, of like-minded people on my feed but every once in a while you get somebody in you know and i like to have a heterodox twitter ti timeline so every once in a while you'll get somebody that's like really hung up on january 6th and you know it was actually we were on the brink of a fascistic takeover and and if one more republican gets elected in this country then it's all over but the crying and even though joe biden's policies are exactly the same as donald trump's if not slightly worse in a lot of instances uh maybe a hair better in others um Really, you're splitting hairs, though, when you're looking for differences of it. it I mean, it's status quo, Joe, just like Donald Trump. Uh, so that's, you know, uh, uh, anyway, so you have th that kind of whole dynamic going on. So Ty Kyle Kalinske go comes out here and we can put the tweet up and he's uh, responding to some like weird song, I believe was like it was like some. Yeah. Happy birthday to Ku. Happy birthday to Ku. Happy birthday, dear anniversary, or nearly successful insurrection, American democracy. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Nearly successful LMAO. Yeah, that's a perfectly reasonable response. Good take from Kyle, right? He's been calling it the diet coup forever. If you rewatch it, I went back and rewatched some of the stuff. Like at the time, the media was really building hysterics up to it, but you're watching a bunch of people who don't know what the fuck they're doing, bumble around in a Capitol building and nobody's doing anything about it. It seems like uh, a bunch of mental health patients got out and there was nobody to properly corral them. So you're like, who's really at fault here? Is it the mental patients or is it the people that aren't taking care of them? It's like, Jesus, I don't know what's going on. I don't know which finger to point. It's like, okay. Uh, so that's kind of my, uh, you know, feeling about all of it but david dole had a very different opinion and his shit just in my view was completely bad shit crazy and ahistorical so even if you think it wasn't nearly successful right-wing violence and the threat of a fascistic republican party taking power is so underreported what else has been reported all day today i'll put a bit in that underreported that it makes absolutely no sense to underplay what happened on january 6th they've got dick cheney on the floor of congress to be that yeah david even dick cheney's out here being like i can't believe we violated our democracy like that. what are you talking about what are you talking about they have like it's it's every fucking me wall the wall the wall the wall the wall this is the only thing they want you to be talking about it's like if you're coming out here and saying russia gates the most important underreported story of the like have you been living under a rock dude what are you talking about you're just looking for a desperate way to come out here and woke scold kyle kalinsky somebody who nominally agrees with you on basically everything and also wouldn't do something like we would which is come out of the woodwork just to fucking whack your shitty ass takedown <laughs> Yeah, and the funny thing about this is exactly what you said, Zach. It's not like Kyle Kalinske is some, like, you know, Jimmy Dore type or whatever. Like, he's out here making videos. I just saw him drop a video being like, Kyle goes ham on Trump for refusing to concede election. Like, Kyle's still out here making anti-Republican content, anti-Trump content, calling out the lies uh, about Stop the Steal, calling out the insurrectionists and all that stuff. To act like he's over here just apologizing for the Republicans and apologizing for the Trump base uh, is, is total insanity. That's not what he does at all. And I think this whole episode is kind of indicative of Kyle Klinsky being on this like weird place on, on YouTube because YouTube uh, and uh, a lot of people on YouTube and even the algorithm to some extent, it kind of makes you like pick a side in a, in a weird way. It's like there's like the Jimmy Dore left and then there's like the David Dole TYT left. And and Kyle, I guess, used to be kind of more in the like Jimmy Dore camp, I would say. Um but lately, that's kind of been changing as Jimmy Dore has, you know, gone in another direction. Let's just say, you know, Kyle has, I guess, kind of found himself a bit more at home among the David Doles and the 
you know, Mike Figueroa's and, and, and those those crowd of people, um, but not all the way. He still has like, you know, one foot in the other camp. And, and you know, just like us, he doesn't play for a team. It's not like he's like, you know, we're going to only say things I know my subscribers want to hear. We're always going to side with this person 10 out of 10 times. No, that's not his style. He just says what he believes. He shoots from the hip, etc. Uh, and in an instance like this, he finds himself kind of caught uh, with these David Dole folks who, you know, this is not cool. They're like, you can't underplay the January 6th incident. This is, you know, our 9-11 or whatever. You have to come out here and act like Rachel Maddow every fucking day and pretend like it was, you know, the gravest threat uh, that American politics has ever faced. Why are you dropping the script? Uh, and and that's not to say that David Dole is the worst commentator in the world. He's just kind of a milk toast, you know, liberal lefty, whatever the fuck. You know, I don't I don't have any beef with the guy. He's, he's not the worst thing ever, but he's definitely not my cup of tea. And I definitely think he is, you know, a little bit closer to the democratic establishment than someone like myself or, or Kyle Kalinske maybe feels uh, being. Um, so I think that kind of reveals some of the friction here where Kyle, you know, clearly trying to reach out and, and be friends with the likes of David Dole, had him on Crystal Kyle and friends recently uh, again. But when he oversteps the line here and wants to make a joke about um, the January 6th coup being nearly successful and the death of America and all this stuff, David Dole doesn't want to fucking hear it again. As you said, Zach, um, having to come out with this kind of like woke bullshit response, even if you think it wasn't nearly successful, right-wing violence and the threat of a fascist Republican taking power is so underreported. And that's the real issue How here. How the fuck can you say that with a straight face? It's it's absolute insanity to say that the that the January 6th incident and surrounding events is underreported. Um, that's literally what they report on at expense of actual important shit. They literally report on this at the expense of real scandals in our government. Uh, Nancy Pelosi insider trading, the destruction of our environment, the eco side in the Amazon, um, the, you know, genocide going on in Palestine, um, et cetera, et cetera. All these things are not reported on so that the airtime can be filled with fucking January 6 porn so that liberals can feel better about voting for fucking Joe Biden and so they can continue to manufacture consent for the Democratic Party so that people won't get scared. Well, people will remain scared of the Republicans to such an extent that they have to go vote blue no matter who, even when they cough up some vile bag of fucking bones like Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or Hillary fucking Clinton. That's what's going on here. And again, it's total fucking insanity um, that David Dole can't just, you know, take this tweet uh, on the chin and he has to, you know, actually... This was a very serious event, and you're not treating it with the gravitas that it deserves. Shut the fuck up, David. Yeah, dude, it's kind of, it's just so weird. I was like, I never re really respond to people on Twitter. That Last night, I was tempted to. I was like, you know what, should I just try and start a Twitter? Like, no, I'll just wait till we're on there, because I'm better on there. Uh, but, um... um... Yeah, as you can see here, this uh, original tweet was deleted as I saved it here. It was from the Tweet of God, which is usually a pretty funny account, by the way. I'm kind of surprised that they stoop to this you know embarrassing level but it is what it is um anyway yeah i think kyle's totally uh correct here to to mock this again you know if if january 6 is your thing and, and you want to freak out about it or whatever that's your right uh you know maybe you thought it was a little bit scarier than i did um but I, i'm pretty much on the same page as you zach it was like these guys are fucking dressed in fur suits and uh you know they, they, it seemed like for the most part they were taking photos in nancy pelosi's office and you know chilling on the floor of the capitol i know that you know aoc and all that wants to act like it was the most traumatized event of all time and i'm sure it was scary if you were there i'm not trying to downplay that um but i think there's a lot more important issues to focus on right now going on in this country as far as actual state-sponsored violence going on against uh real you know human beings in the streets of this country that don't have health insurance that don't have shelter um you know obviously like i said people in palestine people in yemen that are dying as a direct result of our foreign policy um there's just so many more important issues to focus on uh and to act like january 6 is the you know pinnacle of terror uh in this country is frankly laughable and also um just serving to distract from the real issues at hand the ones that the elite establishment doesn't want you talking about um and i think david is just playing right into that here so you know i'll say once again he's not the worst dude in the world obviously there are people on the right wing that are far more insidious and odious than the kind of milk toast you know lefty liberalism that david dole uh likes to likes to monger but that being said this was still pretty fucking cringeworthy in my opinion.